Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. I am the source to settle and OBN expert here at Panamir. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. Before I get started, I wanted to acknowledge Adayat Sharani for helping me with the content required to put this deck together. He's a project management expert here at Panamir and is part of the team responsible for enabling hundreds of OBN connections while at Republic Services. And he has over 15 years of ERP deployment experience. You're watching a buyer supplier integration video. In this video, I provide an overview of Oracle Plus's supplier enablement process. This process is related to Oracle Cloud Buyer Supplier Integration. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining buyer supplier integration. I'll use the following four slides to explain this process. The Supplier Enablement Process Overview, Enablement versus Integration, Phases and Tasks, this is multiple slides, and then Supplier Enablement Team Structuring. But best of all, I'm gonna do it in less than five minutes. So let's get started. Slide one, the supplier enablement process overview. Supplier enablement is the set of tasks performed in order to electronically connect procurement with a given supplier. Let's quickly go over each step. Step one, connect. This is where we connect the trading partners to OBN. Step two, catalog. This is where we allow Oracle Cloud or we set it up so that it can access pre-negotiated content. Step three, fulfill. This is where we set up Oracle Cloud to send orders to OBN. Step four, settle. This is where we set up Oracle Cloud so it can receive invoices from OBN. Step five, test. This is where we test all the different variations of fulfill and settle transactions. And then finally, go live. This is where we prepare the organization and the trading partner for the different states of all the different types of data. To say it very quickly, you get an invoice back from OBN, the PO had to go through OBN. So it's data states like that, that we all need to understand what goes through OBN, what does not. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining buyer supplier integration best practices. Slide two, the supplier enablement versus supplier integration. Supplier enablement refers only to the buyer supplier touch points needing to be connected. Whereas supplier integration refers to all buyer supplier touch points. Let me give you a quick example. Notice the supplier portal on the left there. That's part of supplier integration, but it doesn't need to be connected. Hence, it's not part of supplier enablement. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining supplier integration and the procure to pay process. And now we'll quickly run through each step in the supplier enablement process. Step one, the connect step. The goal of this step is to connect all suppliers to OBN. Here are the major tasks in this step. Pro tip, do not listen to the documentation of OBN. Use the supplier's name, not the DUNS number, not the phone number as the primary ID. This will save you a lot of time when you're trying to debug inbound uh, invoices or outbound POs. Step two, the catalog step. The goal of this step is to ensure suppliers catalog content is accessible from Oracle Cloud. Here are the major tasks in this step. Pro tip, remember to track all punch out passwords in both test and the production environments, and obviously in a secure spreadsheet. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining pre-negotiated content or catalogs in Oracle Cloud. Step three, the fulfill step. The goal of this step is to configure POs out from Oracle Cloud to OBN. Here are the major tasks in this step. Pro tip, make sure your suppliers are not just receiving the messages via Postman. Ensure that they've added the code to inbound the PO message and create the sales order, or you'll have problems later. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining Oracle Business Network. Step four, the settle step. The goal of this step is to configure invoices and credits being sent back from OBN into Oracle Cloud. Here are the major tasks in this step. Pro tip, ensure both goods invoicing and services invoicing 
has been set up as those messages are mapped differently. Remember, services uses a quantity of one. Click the link above to watch a video explaining how to map supplier values using DVMs. Remember, if you're taking data from a marketplace, you need to translate potato into potato or DZN into DZ, for example, on a dozen unit of measure. Step five, the test step. The goal of this step is to test every buyer, supplier, enablement, integration, what have you. This is the most important step. Here are the major tasks in this step. Again, I can't say this enough. Test and force your supplier to test code, not just sending messages back and forth from Postman, or you'll have issues later. Step six, the go live step. The goal of this step is to ensure all players understand the different transaction states and how to process each one of them. So for example, if I convert a purchase order, then I can't receive an invoice back through OBN. How are you going to manage that? Here are the major tasks in this step. Pro tip, ensure predetermined 30 minute check-ins are pre-scheduled prior to your go live. In fact, you should have them for 15 to 90 days prior to your go live, but you'll want to extend them so that you can walk some transactions through manually. And again, orders not using OBN cannot be invoiced via OBN. And lastly, slide four, team structure. Enablements, like I said a little bit earlier, take on average 30 to 90 days of elapsed time to complete. You're obviously not busy that whole time. The teams constructed on this slide bring all the skills necessary in that 90 day window to complete the job. The procurement team should look like this. The supplier team should look like this. Be careful to define what occurs in each meeting and let the team members not being used because they're not gonna be used in every single meeting. Let them skip it or check in and disengage quickly or they're just simply going to get frustrated, particularly your outside or external suppliers because you don't per se own their time, if you will. Okay, this is the end of this video, but hopefully it's just the beginning of your Panamere journey. Did you know that there are thousands of free videos just like this one on Panamere.com? and hundreds more on Panamere's YouTube channel. In fact, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. Panamere wants to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day.